actually got started well before that. That is correct. Cool. Yeah. With with donations, and mm -hmm. then you came back and suggested that right. we consider adding fifteen hundred after we had been operating for a period of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but let me say this also, and, and especially in their defense, it, it isn't a matter of not having any money. We have seventeen or eighteen hundred dollars to work with right now. Um, I, I believe I'll have to go back and make absolutely sure. But it's the applicants that are coming up here to the people that are putting in applications are, are they're just saying, well, I've been told to come out here and fill, fill out paperwork, and y'all are going to get the money, and that's literally what we're getting, and. And they're not getting applications that are sticking to the guidelines, so they have absolutely nothing to work with. I think we have four applications up there right now that are so incomplete, there's no way they could make a decision on it. And the, and the people who bring these applications in say, well, I'm not filling all of that out. Here's my application. You can take it. Or, you know. yeah, they do. And, and, and that's why they're trying and to this board, I, this board I, commends and approves of the way that's being handled, right. if that's what you're getting. Right. Let's make no bones about it. No misunderstandings. Right. Or, I feel like I got the floor right now, and after she speaks again, I'll recognize somebody else. I, I'm, I'm just saying that's the, the program is kind of it's kind of confusing. I think to the applicants as well as to the board members a little bit as to who establishes what and, and who is in charge of this. So I don't mind working with them at all. If, if I'm going to be the person to work with them, I'll do everything I can to get this program going. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's mighty nice to hear, but Ms. Jackson, you the one told me that they didn't do anything unless you were there and that you had other things to do. No, I was, I, I, I'm speaking more of if they want to get out, of, out and do fundraising, I don't have to necessarily be out there with them doing fundraising. You know, I, as far as taking the applications and sitting here, somebody's going to have to sit in here with them when they do have an application to be. I, I realize that. but. But not anything that they're going to happen to do fundraising. I don't feel like I need to be out there. But that's not what that's not what we were talking about fundraising, Ms. Jackson. Okay. But let's um, let's get ready to move on, um, Mr. Watson. Um, did you have something to say? Wait a minute, Mr. Watson, and then you. Uh, I think if an application is there. They need to fill it out complete. If they can't fill it out on their own, someone give them some guidance. But if a person not willing to fill it out, it gives me a little smell of fraud in there or trying to obtain something that you're not entitled to. If, you, if you're willing to fill it out correctly or have somebody help you fill it out, then I think you've got a good legitimate thing. But, you know, that's why, that's why it says, that's what applications are for. I can tell you anything I want to about my situation, but if I'm not willing to tell you that I'm, uh, my situation as far as income, uh, income in the high, what do you require? Income in, I don't, I haven't seen the application. If I have, it's a few and I just don't know how it is. But I think anybody not willing to give their income or anything isn't, doesn't, isn't deserving. They need to, if. If they are uneducated enough, to, they, they, there's no one that can't tell you how much a check is they get. I don't believe there is for a situation like that. Well, well, I go ahead. You said something I was going to say. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I'll tell you what I say. I say is that this that you got a lot of poor people out there. You got people that have limited education and limited ability to filling out the application, probably, or whatever. You have senior citizens that probably uh, couldn't do it, that probably need help and in terms of doing the application and so forth. Um, and and that these are people that traditionally um, fall short because of those kind of circumstances. I'm, I'm not, but I don't, I'm not going to sit here and blame those who are suffering because for suffering. Or those and uh, well, you want to speak, raise your hand. I'll, 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 I'll recognize you. All right, Mr. Watson. You had four applications. And out of those four, nobody would fill out the application. I don't know that those four are suffering. We've got uh, probably 150 that are suffering. 
if you want to look at suffering. But these four may not be suffering. They may be working up here and work, taking their time, spending part of their, most of their time filling out applications in different places. And maybe that's why they don't want to give information. I mean, in, if I needed help, I sure would give all the information I could. And I think anybody else would that sincerely was trying to honestly get help. Uh, I would suggest that we leave this discussion with the Energy Board and when they have another meeting to try to figure out this because we need to move on with the agenda. I know what you're saying. If they don't no, fill out the application, what you do not know what you're saying. if they don't fill out the application, then they don't qualify. Right. It's not that they can't fill it out. They won't fill it out. Well, well then they don't. Well, well, see, we don't. You know, know, if they don't fill it out, they don't, don't get anything. A person we need, is running with need to rewrite the guideline. That's what, what the mayor you all have the mayor wants us to give out money without the application being complete. That's fine. Then put that in writing. Well, once again, uh, the mayor hasn't said that, and the mayor is not endorsing that. What I'm just simply pointing out to you is that the population of people that you're dealing with here have problems. And we're going to have to be sensitive to that. We are. 